Hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel if you're new. I'm Brie. Today, I'm going to be taking you through a book, shelf, room, organization, office, library, <laughs> organization. As you can see, I have four bookshelves here, and so far, one, two, three are all books that I have read. And then this is my TBR shelf. And I haven't shown you the whole room, but I will show you that in a minute. But this just organization isn't working for me right now. I feel like it's messy and there's a lot of knickknacks on the shelves that I'm not liking the placement of. And it's just something that I kind of feel like has gotten out of control the longer I've been in this room. And I think the last time I did a bookshelf reorganization was like over a year ago. And I'm someone who kind of changes on my shelves regularly. I don't have an exact plan. But I do think I know certain things I want to change so I will bring you along and talk to you about those things. So first let me show you what I want to do. So first I have this chair right here and I have not loved it for a while. We got it really cheap on Facebook Marketplace and it's just not working in any of the spaces I have in my house. So I think we're going to donate that and then bring in my chair that I loved having here. The only reason we moved it before was because I wanted to reorganize the living room and it wasn't working out there so I tried it in here and I just, I don't like it. We have the shelves and as you can see, there's just kind of some disorganization. There's random knickknacks everywhere, especially up here. You can see, I just have a lot of stuff that I've kind of thrown up there that I'm just not loving. Then we have, this is like my sewing area. This is my grandma's old sewing machine that's been in her family for a while. And so I want to keep that here. Um, and I have a little sewing area. But this is fine. I kind of record now over here. And I like taking this off and putting stuff on there. So I probably would keep this similar. This is books I've listed on Pango Books or Need to List. And then this is a box of books that my parents had at their house that are like classics and stuff that I need to put on the shelves. Then this is my TBR shelf. And as you can see, I have... A lot of books back here that are just shoved back there. So I want to get this better organized. So that's the overview of the room. Also on here, I keep the books I've read for the month on here so I can easily wrap them up at the end of the month. But yeah, and then I have this closet, which that's for a later time. That's got a lot of stuff in it that I need to organize and I just haven't and it stresses me out, but I think that needs to be a whole separate thing. So there you go, that's the room. Okay, so I think that the plan is going to be to take this, take this TBR shelf and move it to this bookcase here and then have that be all TBR and keep it to just that area. Ideally, my TBR would be maybe the top two shelves. That's about what I think is good for me. I like having options, but having this many is too many. So I've been trying to work on reading down my own physical TBR, but for now, I think it'd be better served on this shelf and then I can have these be, you know, red. Ideally, these would all be the same height, but I got these two for free from my sister, so I'm not complaining. Eventually, I think it'd be nice to change them out with Billy bookcases so that they can all be matching but it's free, so why am I gonna get rid of it? And they're working well, so there's that. I think, I know I'll keep the Pendergrass series up there because it's the only shelf that fits them. And then I kind of have things like, I have a favorite shelf going, I have by genre. So like these are my favorite authors down here, but then I kind of split everything up. So I think I'm going to, once we get this out of here, see where I want to film because the light is better over here but I don't like having my TBR books be my background. I'd rather have my favorites books. So I think I need to figure out where I want to be recording and then I'll figure out how I want it laid out. But I do think I like it mainly by genre because it helps me to find books when I want to recommend them a little bit more. I've done by author before, but I think I just like having genres together. I think that's the easiest and most accessible way for me to find my books but I do think I want to make them a little more organized because I have like these are mystery then I have historical mystery but then it's fantasy and then it's like YA fantasy and then it goes to fantasy and then it just kind of it it's a little unorganized so if I can get everything in one that'd be great maybe keep all my mysteries there move my Agatha shelf stuff like that that's a rough plan let me get 
my husband to help me move this and then we will go from there. I also have a bench I didn't show you that's in the corner. I would love to get rid of that at some point. I've had that since college but I don't know. It's the cats love to lay on it and so if anyone owns a cat let me know if you're the same way but there are so many surfaces that my cats find that they love and I'm like I want to get rid of certain things because they're just not my style anymore or they're taking up space and we're not using it and but because the cats lay on it I'm like well I can't give it up it's their laying spot and uh I have too many of those in my house so <laughs> let me know if that's also a problem for you but anyway let's get into the taking everything out and off the shelves and then we'll get to the rest of it it's like it's like a brain <laughs> perfect oh and you can you go like slightly past yeah 64 looks like what's that five come Feet. Five feet. Three so inches. Four inches. It's like just yeah. a free leg. Yeah. Golden, 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 golden thing. Was me just? <laughs> I'm helping. Mount Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow. Trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I follow the golden. Golden, golden things. Gold hair, gold rings, gold leaves, gold. So I figured out, I think, what I want to do. So I am going to move my TBR books to this bookcase in the corner here. But what I'm going to do is books that I've already started the series for, I'm going to just keep on the shelf with the series because I found when I'm trying to find a place for my books at the end of the month after I've done my wrap up, it becomes harder and harder to make it, the shelf work when I'm adding series to it. So instead I'm going to set up the shelves with the series already on it so that I know that there's enough room. And then my standalones are going to go there for reading. And usually I remember that I have series to read because I have a series tracker. And I'm also going to move some books from authors that I really love that I want to read more of their books, that I have more of their backlist, so that they're also together. Because like I have a ton of T. Kim Fisher that I haven't read, but I want to keep it all on one shelf together. And I know I'm going to read T. Kim Fisher, so I'm not going to forget that that's on my TBR. So I think that's the plan. I know right on the second shelf I want to do my Agatha Christie's and probably my Nancy Drew's because I have a lot of Agatha Christie's and then I have a decent amount of Nancy Drew's and then I'll probably bleed into mystery. The bottom you don't see because I'm going to put a chair here so I'll probably still keep my non-fictions on the bottom and then this, let's go this way, this uh, probably the second down is going to be like favorite Authors where I group a lot like I really like Sylvia Mariner Garcia and she writes a lot of standalone so I'm gonna keep her like all together and then the next one down will be standalone favorites so things I gave five stars that I really really love that I would consider favorites but maybe aren't are one-off off author or something like that and aren't part of a series and then I'm not sure what I'll do because that's where you're probably gonna see in videos the most is like these three shelves so then I'm gonna do probably like cozy fantasy. This will be fantasy slash speculative. So yeah, so I don't know what the bottoms of those will look like. Maybe I'll do 
more classics along the bottom since you won't see. Um, but I'm going to try to keep like favorites and then fantasy and then this one will be mystery thriller and then TBR. So we'll see how that goes. I think I'm going to start with the TBR because it's going to be the easiest to move from that shelf to that shelf. So I think that's the plan. So let's start moving that to there. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on too long and unresolved questions holds you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a fun So you can't see, but up there I put some middle grade and some literary fiction and then like two fantasy books that I couldn't fit anywhere else. Then on this row, we have witchy books, followed by like historical fantasy, followed by still could be considered historical fantasy, but more like ancestral type stories that are fantasy related. And then we have some regular fantasy I couldn't figure out into into gothic type fantasy or just gothic in general type stories into like fairy slash still gothic but like fairy i assume stories into uh cozy fantasy into books that play with time into sci-fi mystery then historical mystery then regular like thriller mysteries and then more regular thriller mysteries into different horror so i did it by paranormal then just, well, first it was horror I didn't know how to categorize, and then I did paranormal type horror, like ghosts, vampires, that kind of thing, monsters, and then I went into haunted house type horrors, and at the end I have weird horror, I don't know, I put like Bunny and the Echo Wife, I know they're not the same, but to me it's like kind of strange horror, I don't know, I don't have a lot of that kind of genre, so I just kind of stuck them at the end, so yeah. That's that. I'm going to start putting stuff on these shelves now. I'm driving in my car. The road is long and full of dust. The landscape changes around me, on and on, I feel I must. Whatever happened to me, happened for my highest good. I read that in so many books, now it's almost understood. I'm moving on. Sweet as well, my destination. If you're looking to begin, then look no further than within. I'm satisfied with what I've got and still eager for more. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. Oh, no. Oh.
Well, here you go. They are done. I am so happy with how they turned out. It took me a long time, but I really like this new setup and I'm very excited for it. So let me walk you through a little bit of what I did and why. So this whole bookcase outside of the bottom shelf is favorites. So we have some standalone favorites that I really enjoyed. There are a couple things that are going to be series in here, but they aren't yet. So I put them in. These are supposed to be standalone books that I really love. Then moving down, we have my authors that I've loved multiple books from. So I have Simone St. James, I have Isabel Cañas, Sylvia Moreno Garcia, T. King Fisher, and then I have Grady Hendrix. I just realized I totally forgot to mention C.L. Polk is down here. I can't believe I didn't mention C.L. Polk on my favorite author shelf. So I had to amend that. And then moving down, here we have my favorite series. So we have the Every Heart of Doorway series. And then we have the Murderbot series by Martha Wells. And then we have the duology by Becky Chambers. That is the Monk and Robot duology. I added her other book here just because I did really enjoy it and I wanted to keep her all together. Then we have the Brexford and Sloan series. Then we have the Regency Fairy Tale series by Livia Atwater. We have the Dangerous Damsel series by India Holton, and then we have The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter, The Extraordinary Adventures of Athena Club by Theodora Goss. We have more series that are my favorites, so The Bangalore Detectives Club. We have The Thursday Murder Club, Finley Donovan, The Before the Coffee Gets Cold, and we have All Live O'Bray, so this is, I forget what the series is called, but I read it in high school. Um, starts with A Great and Terrible Beauty. Then we have The Diviners and these cross worlds. Then I'm just gonna tilt you down. The very down here is all classics. These are the ones that I have multiple editions of, like I've collected certain editions. It's in here. So I have Barnes and Noble editions. These are, I think, just the Penguin Classics. And then these are Penguin Classics, but they're the UK versions. I'm just gonna stay down here and kind of peek you behind. So you can't really see, but all the way back there is non-fictions that are like food related or environmentally related and then some poetry and just things that I wanted to not be seen quite as much. These are non-fictions that are not food related and then I have more classics here that aren't part of the editions that I collected. Then here we have the Cassandra Clare but it kind of goes into like urban fantasy mystery-ish. And here we have just regular kind of fantasy that I guess I could subcategorize more but I don't have enough of them too so it's just kind of regular fantasy. Then here we have historical fantasy. There's room here because I've read two books in series that are I need to put over on my wrap-up thing but then they will go in here so I didn't want to have no room when I went to add them so I added them while I was organizing and then took them out. And then it's into cozier fantasy slash fantasy romance because I think there's a lot of overlap sometimes between cozy and fantasy romance for me at least the ones I pick up and then up here we have um literary fiction and then horror because I don't have a lot of either one to make them their own dedicated shelves so I'm just gonna do half literary fiction half horror because I moved a lot that are my favorites over to the other shelf and then at the very top I have Brandon Sanderson's books, those are, you can't see me, those are my husband's, um, but I keep them on my bookshelves, and I just thought up there you don't see them quite as much. I do like the special editions that we've gotten of it, and I do like The Way of Kings, it's just not my favorite series of all time. And then all the way at the top up here is just random books that I had, and then um, part of the Pendergast world, standing on my chair. So this is my Pendergast series. I didn't move any of it, but I only have room for one more book. And so the series is still ongoing. It's like at 21 books now. So it's really filled up my shelves, but that's the Pendergast series. Then we have all my Agatha Christie's. So these are all my Perot books. And then these are just general one-off books. And then these are the Miss Marple series. And then I have my Nancy Drews. I'm just gonna hold it for a second because I'm behind the chair. So these are thrillers and mysteries. So I kind of did mysteries that are speculative in some way into cozier mystery into thriller. And then we have graphic novels and middle grade. 
Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bookshelf reorganization video. It was really fun to get everything organized and change and just having my shelves a little more put together. It was much needed and I hope you enjoy and I hope this helps you maybe think about how you want to organize your bookshelves or maybe you can give me ideas that you've had on yours. You know, I'm always looking for better ways to organize. So, so thank you anyway for watching and I will see you next time.